What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel, where we're all about teaching Linux and helping folks get into the tech field. I'm your host, Josh, and today we've got something fresh and intriguing to talk about. And this is from Meta. Yeah, the company you probably still know as Facebook. They've been making waves again, but not necessarily for the reasons you might expect. This time, they've launched something called AI Studio. And it's a new tool that lets you create your own custom AI chatbot. Sounds cool, right? But knowing Meta's track record with user data and privacy, we have to ask, is this a good thing or just another way for Meta to gather more data under the guise of open source? Stick around as I break it all down for you in today's video. Before we dive in, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I try to cover everything from Linux tutorials and tech news, all aimed at helping you get into the tech field. And if you find this content useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any updates. All right, so let's get into the nuts and bolts of what AI Studio is all about. Meta's AI Studio is designed to let anyone create their own AI chatbot. And it says no technical skills required. So whether you're a tech newbie or someone that's been around in tech for a long time, you could jump in and start building your own chatbots. But let's break down exactly how this works and what you can do with it. So AI Studio is Meta's latest tool aimed at making AI accessible. And according to their announcements, AI Studio will allow users to create, share, and discover AI chatbots. And these chatbots can act as virtual extensions of yourself, designed to interact with your followers on platforms like Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. And Meta emphasizes that you don't need any technical skills to get started. So at the end of the day, this is huge because it lowers the barrier to entry for anyone interested in AI, similar to how ChatGPT does. Now let's talk about the features. With AI Studio, you can customize your AI character's name, personality, tone, avatar, and tagline. So imagine having a chatbot that not only shares your knowledge, but also mimics your personality. This can be particularly useful for content creators and businesses who want to maintain a consistent presence online without being physically present all the time. Now, Meta also provides a guide with tips and best practices to help you get started. And this guide is designed to ensure that even if you're new to this, you'll be able to create a functioning and engaging chatbot. You can turn auto replies on and off, decide who your AI responds to, and make sure that responses from the AI are clearly labeled for transparency. Now, as for availability, AI Studio is currently rolling out in the US to Instagram business accounts and will expand to all Meta users over the next few weeks. You'll be able to access it through a dedicated website and directly within Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. This multi-platform approach ensures that wherever your audience is, your chatbot can reach them. So what can you actually do with these chatbots? The potential use cases are pretty broad. For creators, you can use the chatbot to answer common questions, share updates, and even role play scenarios with your followers. Now, businesses, on the other hand, can use it for customer support, lead generation, and interacting with customers in a more personalized way. And there are also pre-built chatbots that you can try out to get a feel for what's possible. Now that I covered everything this new chatbot is all about, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. This move by Meta is clearly aimed at competing with other major players in the AI chatbot space. We've got OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google Board, and other closed source projects dominating the scene. But by releasing AI Studio as an open source tool, Meta is trying to position itself differently. They're saying, hey, we're giving everyone the tool to build their own AI. No wild Gordons here. And to me, it's super weird seeing a big organization like this divert one of their newest tools to open source. It just kind of throws me off because I'm so used to these organizations attacking open source like Microsoft back in the 90s and other software organizations doing the same thing, but mainly Microsoft. But this open source approach could be a strategic move to gain trust and attract a broader user base. Now, while other companies are keeping their AI developments behind closed doors, Meta is inviting users to come in, explore and create. It's a smart play to stand out in a crowded market, but we all have to ask ourselves, is it enough to overcome their past reputation? 
All right, so now it's time for my thoughts on this whole thing. On the surface, AI Studio sounds like a fantastic tool. The ability to create a personalized chatbot without needing any coding skills could be a game changer for many creators and businesses. It offers a lot of convenience, potentially saving you tons of time while helping you interact with your followers more effectively. Now, there are a couple positive things I want to point out. The democratization of AI technology is something we should all be excited about. For too long, advanced AI tools have been the domain of those with technical expertise or significant financial resources. AI Studio changes that by making these tools accessible to anyone and embracing that open source mindset. And one thing I can see is that it will lead to a surge of innovative uses of AI from creative content to enhance customer interaction. And the customization options are another big plus, being able to tailor the chat by to reflect your personality or brand means that interactions can feel more authentic and engaging. And this is particularly important for creators and businesses who rely on building strong personal connections with their audience. Now, another positive aspect is Meta's decision to make this an open source tool, which I kind of spoke to a little earlier, but in a world where major AI players are keeping their cords close to their chest, Meta's move to open up their technology could foster a new wave of innovation. And open source projects often benefit from community contributions, leading to rapid improvements and diverse applications. But it also provides a level of transparency that closed source projects can't match, which is why I'm an avid supporter of open source projects. Now, we can't ignore the potential downsides, especially given Meta's history. They've been involved in numerous controversy regarding privacy and data collection. I think in one of my last videos, I brought up the Cambridge Analytical scandal. And that's a prime example where users' data was harvested without consent. Given this track record, it's hard not to be skeptical about their motives with AI Studio. And while Meta pitches AI Studio as an open source project meant to empower users, we need to be vigilant about how our data might be used. Is this just another way for Meta to collect more data on us, even if it's under the guise of providing a helpful tool? It's essential to read the privacy policy, understand what data is being collected, and consider the potential long-term implications. Data privacy is a massive concern. With this AI studio, your chatbot interactions are likely storing and analyzed by Meta. And this could give them even more insight into your personal life, preferences, and behaviors. And while collecting this data is often framed as a way to improve services, it also poses significant privacy risks. And as users, we need to be aware of these risks and take steps to protect our data. Now, one other bad thing I wanted to cover before I end this video, there is also a issue of power dynamics. And what I mean by that is by relying on tools provided by large corporations like Meta, we potentially give them more control over our digital lives. And this can stifle competition and innovation as smaller players might not be able to compete with the resources and data that Meta has. And it's crucial to consider how our choices impact the broader tech ecosystem. So that's all I wanted to cover today. That's my take on Meta's new AI studio. It's an exciting development with a lot of potential, but we need to remain cautious given Meta's history with data privacy. AI technology is powerful and has the potential to revolutionize how we interact online, but we must stay informed and critically evaluate these new tools. Now, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel for more videos on Linux, tech news, and how to get into the tech field. Make sure you drop your thoughts in the comments below. I love to hear what you think about AI Studio and have you even tried it or whether you're planning to try it. Let me know down below. But thanks for watching and as always, keep it techie. Whenever I talk to people, whenever I mentor people uh, dealing with, you know, getting into tech, you gotta figure out what you like or what you're interested in. Cause yeah, a lot of people get into the, you know, tech field because you can make a good amount of money. The money is the motivator. But you also, in my opinion, in order for you to be happy, you gotta like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so like for me, a lot of times it doesn't feel like work, bro. Most times it really doesn't feel like work. It's, it's, yeah, I'm doing something fun. I'm doing something I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes it, you know, great for me.